Hi, I'm Lauren Collar and I am currently at our Ogden, Utah location. And as you guys are gearing up for this year's upcoming selling season, we just wanna strongly encourage you guys to consider using a point of sale device when it comes to ringing up your transactions in your retail location. And we're gonna tell you what they are, how they benefit you, and some of the lessons we've learned in the process of um, integrating point of sales into our retails. So first of all, what a point of sale system is, it is an internet-based retail transaction system that gives you real-time data on what is selling in your location. So to evolve from the, the days of using a cash box and a calculator, this system gives us real-time data on our transactions, what's selling, what's not selling, and makes it possible for us to make some really important decisions during season and then next year for the upcoming season. So some of the options that exist are Square or Clover. There's countless opportunities out there. A lot of them are more restaurant based. So you want to see find something that's uh, more of a retail purchase and just look into what uh, the capabilities are and make sure it covers all the things that you need. Um, the benefits are, are really pretty endless and I don't think even we have tapped into all the benefits that we can find within um, the system that we use. First, number one thing is that you can understand what's selling, when it's selling, and how it's selling. So what I mean by that is you can see a real live time transaction history per transaction and then you can also run reports and see how many of a certain item are is selling. So. Sometimes you might notice that this one item is ending up on every single transaction. And so instead of designating a small amount of shelf space to it, really maybe you wanna take over an end cap or take over a stronger presence so that you can get the product out there so it's not needing to be restocked. So that's a really good benefit. And then you can also see maybe what's not selling. Like you might have purchased something that you thought was really great and really beneficial and really cool, but it's not moving and it, it will just sit dead in every one of your locations. And you won't notice that until at the end of the season when you count inventory, or maybe when you're walking in and out of the locations, you might, it might catch your eye. But we know that once we're in our spots, we're all, we are, you know, we're doing countless things. We're trying to pay attention to a lot of things. So we may not catch it. So if you learn that something is not selling, you can potentially price it differently or move the location in the store so it has a better presence and gets picked up. One of the tricks that we do is if we notice something is not really selling but we really like the effect and maybe it's just the labeling isn't really getting people to pick it up off the shelf, if it is safe to shoot fireworks at your location, we demo that and then when we have a lot of people in the tent, we tell them, hey, we're gonna demo a firework, we go out and we shoot and we let people see it and then it's bound to sell. So little things like that where if I wasn't getting that information and that data, it would be really hard to know why something's selling and why something's not selling and you definitely wouldn't probably know about it until it was too late. So understanding what sells in the moment is really key, but then it also makes it possible for you to make better choices when it comes to ordering for the following year. Another benefit of point of sale systems is that you can capture email and phone numbers. So that's a really great marketing tool is to be able to send text me message marketing or email marketing to people. And with the point of sale system, it's completely integrated and you can collect that data real time, right at the register, right during the transaction. It's super simple. And then you have that stored within the system and you can just easily print a report at the end of the summer to um, then see what emails you have and then upload that into your constant contact or whatever you use for email notifications. It is quicker than pricing. You put your fireworks on your shelf and you put a price sign up and you're done. You're not having to hand price because you have a barcode scanner. So the people bring up their fireworks, you boom, 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 scan everything and you're done. If you have something that does not have a UPC, you can easily add a tab that says no UPC, hit that, hit the item, and all of that's programmed in. If you have, sometimes you just have like a damaged UPC, um, and you can search for the item and then click on it by hand as well on the device so it doesn't have to be barcode scanned, which is really cool. It puts all of your transactions in one place. So you can see all the transactions across your locations or across cities, or even if you're a multi-state operation, you have the ability to see all of those transactions happening in real time. So you can't be everywhere at once, and this makes it possible for you to be everywhere at once, which is super cool. 
the inventory tracking is huge. You can see if somebody from one of your operators calls you and they say, hey, I need four more cases of this because I sold them all, I can look in and see if they actually sold that many, how many they have on hand, and then how many they've sold recently. Maybe they had somebody just buy some you know, case of it and that transaction is kind of happening outside of the normal transactions and they maybe don't really need the product that they think they need. But it gives you that backup information so that you can see that the people in your locations working are really giving you the right data because you have that data to, to back it up. Another thing with inventory is when you go to count what you have left over after your season, then you can print a report that shows what you're supposed to have and use that sheet to then count from and you can compare what your system says to what, you're, what you actually physically count and that'll give you an idea of if there's any shrinkage or maybe things were getting miswrung and, and, and that just makes that process a lot easier and more simple. The other things that you can do are like watch your number of transactions and your average sale. So if your transaction count is dropping, you can make choices to bring more people into the tent. You can also look at your average sale and then adjust your pricing to try to bump it up or adjust your incentives to move your average sale dollar up higher. That's something that um, is really beneficial to constantly be aware of. Um, and constantly keep track of so that you know that you're maximizing your dollar sold to each potential customer. So, you know, just really digging into this data gives you all kinds of benefits that makes it a little bit easier to make the choices you need to make to be successful. Um, you know, we've learned a lot of things with using a point of sale system. I think one of the most valuable things we learned is that we didn't really quite need as many SKUs as we thought. So we saw some things that, you know, it's like there was like a target item that people really liked or a group of items that everybody really bought. And then there were a group of price points that were really popular. So we used that information to find products that fit within those categories. And there were certain things that we just really didn't need to put in the, the location because we were maybe only selling a few units, not even a full case. And so when it comes to that, it was like, is there value in just having a few of those items to sprinkle in? We're also concerned, is that gonna affect you know what our total dollars sold are so so we slowly slowly cut back the SKUs and we noticed that we were able to do that and we were able to still not lose any dollars sold we just had better dollars sold if that makes sense so the information is all there right at your fingertips real time and it it makes it very easy to make choices and um, you know we we have this, what I call it, is our like our one paycheck. We have our one chance to pull off a firework season. So if we can have as much support as possible to make our choices and prep for the season, and then as we're going through season, find you know the, a way to uh, manage all of the things that we need to do a little bit more easily, it makes it so much better and um, simple. Like it just makes it a lot simpler and. Uh, just you know it um it just takes a lot of the guesswork out it takes a lot of like the the instinct we all have you know we've been in this industry for a long time we all have that gut instinct but to have the data to support what we're feeling just gives you that encouragement that you know you're doing the right thing and you're making the right choices it's all really customizable too so let's say you need to track um what you're what is sold so that you can pay out your nonprofit groups, this this makes that a lot simpler. It also gives you reports to show inventory. It shows, you know, if somebody took a credit or a discount or reduced the price of an item, you can easily search and see those. And then you can ask, you know, why? Why did you give that discount? And it, if you don't have that information, if you're not linked in, then you're not, you're just really trusting that they're gonna follow everything that they need to to do the right thing. Um, this doesn't have as much value as having that back end knowledge so that you can say, hey, you know what? I, they didn't take any discounts. I know that they did a really good job. Um, everything's accounted for, the inventory is all there. It, it just makes it um, really easy. Um, 
I could go on and on about this because I really think that the benefits are endless. I think there's a lot of ways that you can um, take this information and run with it. Um, so I would just strongly encourage uh, just the consideration of a point of sale system. Maybe you want to try it in just one or two locations. Sometimes it can be a little bit nerve wracking to take on a whole new system. I remember the first time we took on a whole new system, it was definitely a little nerve wracking and, and the growing pains can be a little bit tough, but that's a really cool benefit about um, the app that, or the, the program we chose is Clover. And so a cool benefit about that is that your Winco team has the experience using Clover in our industry specifically. So you've got all the support through Clover, but then you also have our real time, real experience that you can call us up at any time and we'll help you through you know issues that you might be having. And, and we've got the knowledge and the experience with that specific system. So giving a small little shout out to Clover because I think they're a really great system. We did a lot of research on retail programs before we chose Clover. And once we made that choice, we have stuck with it. And because of just all of the ways you can customize it, the systems can be owned, they can be rented, uh, they can be leased. There's um, lots of variety with in the devices so you've got like a, a station device that uh, sits on a table something we used when we needed to consider social distancing and um, you know just trying to move people through our locations faster we got the handheld devices where you can scan within the device take payment within the same device and print a receipt made it really easy that if somebody just had a family pack and a few cakes um, we could check them out as they were you know, near a doorway and they didn't have to go through and wait in line. And so we could move people through a lot faster. And then also we didn't need to designate as much space to a table with the transaction device. We had these handheld devices on our sales reps out in the location and they were able to just quickly scan and then you know, make sure that the person was moving to their car after that. So really, really like the, the options are, are very much um, customizable to what you need and then there's probably way more options than you do need um, because this system works across a lot of different companies um, like, like i said before there's like the multi-location management where you can really be everywhere at once and see what's happening in all of your locations just by seeing that back in data and pulling reports so that makes it really easy and great for management to see real time what's happening. Every little bit that you can do to make those few days m run better, it's worth the investment. So, you know, if you're worried about the cost, I don't I don't even think the cost is an issue because the benefit that you get so outweighs the cost that it's it's just it's a no-brainer, honestly, in my mind, to use some sort of point of sale because let's just say your inventory management gets 10% better, it's paid for. Let's just say you don't put you know, as much dead inventory in your location, it's paid for. Like It is truly a system that just gives you information that really is really beneficial and helpful. And because our sales happen in such a tiny, tiny window, I'm a huge fan of anything that makes it easier for you to sell fireworks. So as always, Winco Fireworks is here to support you. We want you to be as successful as possible. Selling fireworks is a really interesting industry. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of bravery, and it also takes just a lot of knowledge. And so if we can pass on anything that we've learned, we wanna help you be even more successful than you were last year. Reach out to your sales team. If you have any questions, we look forward to talking to you more.